If you guys want to make an auto exec in CS2, I'll show you guys how to do that right here. I'll show you guys how to set up your binds and how to make sure it's always executing when you start up your game. It's very simple and very easy and I'll walk you guys through all of the steps. So if you guys want to find out how to do that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and check out the sponsor of this video, CSGO Big. This video is sponsored by CSGO Big, which is my favorite case opening website. They have game modes such as case battles, jackpot, coin flip, roulette, diffusal, and just normal cases that you can open. Right now, CSGO Big is running their summer event with 200k worth of prizes as well 10k in daily rewards that anyone can grab if you use the code louis cs2 then you can get three free cases that you can open using my code also allows you to get a five percent deposit bonus when adding balance using any of their methods which is skins crypto gift cards or credit cards once you're done playing you can withdraw in skins or crypto the link is down in the description so in order to get where we want to go to put the auto exec folder you're gonna want to go into your steam and right click counter strike and we're gonna go to properties once you're in properties you want to go to installed files and click browse this will show you pretty much every single counter-strike file that you have but obviously getting to where you need to put it is the most important part what you want to do is click on game you want to click on csgo and then you want to click on config now you can see here that i have my auto exec.cfg if you are trying to make a new one you can literally just go new make a notepad and name it whatever you want to name it like i can name it louis and then i want to change this to a dot cfg so if you are making a new one, this is what it would look like. And then obviously you can put whatever you need to put in there. Now, for the purpose of this video, I obviously already have an auto exec in here. So if I open this up, you can see I have my radar bind. I bind my mouse if in case any of my binds get messed up. And then I have my jump throw binds as well. So this is where I, you know, put all those binds in. Now you don't need jump throw binds and all those sort of things. You could throw any commands you want in here, but I do that because I like to find consistency in my lineup. So I always make sure that I have those in my auto exec. Now, in order for this auto exec to perform or open or run whenever you start your counter strike you want to remember the name of this file right here because what you want to do is let's say you know let's go back to counter strike you want to right click go to properties and under general you have your launch options now a lot of pros aren't using launch options at the moment which is totally okay but you can see that i have a bunch of pretty much execs in here all together but you can see that i have my plus exec auto exec.cfg which is the same exact name as what this is here so when i open up my game this will automatically run if i find my launch options again this is what you want to make sure you have you want to always have the plus exec and then a space and then whatever the file name is so like the one i created was louis.cfg for the purpose of this video again i already have one already set right here so obviously it's just auto exec.cfg and if you are having problems with launch options or maybe you don't want launch options i can show you how to execute those in game so if you don't want any launch options like a lot of the pros are doing right now the easiest way to exec and the only way to do it is coming into your console now in the launch options you did you know use a plus but this is different because it is the command console so all you want to do is type exec and then the name of your file so for me it was auto exec.cfg and then I'm going to press enter and we're going to see that it is executing my auto exec config. Pretty much the only way to do it. And it's very easy. You just have to remember you don't use the plus like you would in the launch options. So if you have some paranoia that maybe you might lose FPS if you're using launch options or something weird like that, you can always just go in a game and exec it just the same as this. Also, that works with, you know, if you have a practice config in game or, you know, maybe a nade thing, whatever it is, you just type exec in the name of the file and then it'll tell you that it's executing right here. But if you found this video helpful make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out